As you can see here, this box is available as a floor stand version, the BX400, which has also eight plates in a floor stand environment with uh, also this LCD display and is also available as a rack version. I think most of the customers will run this box as a rack version, but also available as a tower version. Okay, on the rear side on the BX400, we have the PSUs, the power supply modules. So basically we do have four power supplies. Each of them is running with 1600 watts, but in a complete redundant modus. That means two of them are enabled, are enough to run the whole box. So as I told you before, we do have a lot of uh, different power modes. So that means we can run, for example, a so-called dynamic mode. That means non-used power supplies are automatically running in a standby mode uh, to have a better efficiency on the remaining ones. So for example, one of these power supplies to have a power efficiency more than 92%. That's very state-of-the-art, this power efficiency here. We can also run different redundancy modes. That means a 2 plus 1 or 2 plus 2 or 3 plus 1 redundancy. And together with this dynamic mode, we have a very, very power efficient box here. So on the other hand, you see the connection modules here. Two of them are the management plates for redundant management environment. A very ease of use uh, management environment with a dedicated management network also. On the other hand, this management network can also be connected on the front side of the box if you run this box in an office environment. Besides the management plates, we do have four different connection plates. This enable you to have really a very flexible uh, infrastructure and connection to the infrastructure of the customer. Basically, we can run all onboard network controllers of the plates with only one single uh, switch plates. That allows you to run a very cheap configuration. Only one switch plate is enough to handle all internal network ports of a box. But if you want to run a redundant connectivity, you can also run these two network switches to have an additional mezzanine card for the switch plates and you can really run redundant network configuration. On the other hand, it is also possible to run fiber channel connectivity within this box to connect redundant switches to run fiber channel environments but not only fiber channel and ethernet switches are available but also fiber channel pass through or for the 10 gig environment for the 10 gig ethernet there are also a pass throughs in, uh, available but also a kind of intelligent pass throughs but also future technology is available right now for this box that means also infiniband modules are released and also fiber channel over ethernet to have both fiber channel and network connectivity within one switch. So this enables you to run really a very flexible connectivity infrastructure, maybe very easy with only one switch, but also a very uh, flexible infrastructure with redundant uh, passes to the infrastructure. So as I told you before, one of the most important facts of this BX400 box is the ease of use interface. And as you can see here on the screen, this is a new web interface of the BX400 management plates. As you can see, this is a kind of dashboard where you can very easily find all important information. Here on the left side, you will find all server plates or storage plates uh, with the current status. And you can have, uh, you can power on, power off this box with one click. You can assign the USB and DVD uh, one of the single CPU plates with one click, you can locate the plates and you have the console button. For example, if you click on one of these console buttons, you can have the local TVM uh, of this box here available on the screen. As you can see, they're very easy to handle. I close this again. On the other hand, you can see the current power status of each single CPU plate. You can see which single plate is using how much power and the current complete power consumption of the whole box. On the other hand, you will also see a lot of different consumption modes which are able to run for the whole box. As you can see here, this is currently designed for the low noise mode, which means the whole box will not exceed the 45 uh, decibel. So it's also available to run in office environments. To get this issue not to come over 45 decibel, uh, single CPU plates 
are stepped down from a CPU point of view. So these states of the CPU uh, will force to go down, not to exceed the maximum noise level of 45 decibel. On the other hand, we have a kind of minimum cons power consumption mode, which means uh, CPU states will be switched down if the power is not required. Memory will uh, slow down with the frequency uh, type and all this stuff. Also, enforced mode is possible. That means you can have an um, enforced mode. So that means the power consumption of this box will not exceed uh, user-defined environment or system limitation is possible. And also, it's possible to run these power modes scheduled to mean a different power consumption mode during operation days or overnight or during the weekend. So a lot of effort is spent to the power consumption box. The last box is just event log, where you can see all current events on the first screen. On the other hand, very nice feature, you can also see if the door is closed or open. One new feature of the PX400 is a very easy installation mode. As you can hear, see here, the web interface, the box here, the real side, the front side, and the current environment. Here within the information tab, you will find the new installation manager, operating system installation. This basically means that the well-known installation manager uh, is running within the management mode. As you can see here, you can install all released operating system, Windows system, as you can see here, for example, all kinds of Windows systems, different editions, but also Linux systems and hypervisor with a very insta easy installation mode. You just have to plug in the installation manager USB stick in the box. And the operating system DVD in the DVD ROM and then ins install all blades in one step with one click. It's very easy installation within the management. It is quite new and uh, very interesting where you can install the box easy, very easy with, with one click. As told before, we do have a virtual storage appliance now available for PX400 but also for the PX900 one. This virtual storage appliance is being developed together with our partner NEDA and consists, as you can see here, on one typical server plate, now example is a PX920 S2, which is combined with a storage plate, a SX960. From a technical point of view, on the storage plate, on the PX920 S2, there is an ESX server running, and on this ESX server are two virtual machines are running. I show you the ESX server now. We are now on this PX920 S2, and there are uh, ESX running with two virtual machines. One of them is a server management appliance, which hosts our standard server management environment to monitor, to install, to configure the whole box. And the other hand, there's a data on tap environment. This is a virtual machine, which is data on tap running as an operating system. And this virtual machine is uh, running the storage, the SX960, and uh, run a real NetApp file as I used to run it with a, with a normal NetApp file. You can see now here the web interface of this file. And as you know it from the standard NetApp environment, see here, this is really standard NetApp. That means we have really a, a standard NetApp filer based on primary hardware within our box. So that means all other plates in this box can connect via network, with a basically iSCSI or CIFS or NFS, to this NetApp filer in this box. But also other systems outside of this box are able to connect to this filer, which is basically an i20 together with this 960 storage environment. 